We're up to the part of the Selichot that's also very common and very everyone loves it. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, In fact, this line isn't actually a Pasuk. It's not one Pasuk, it's a combination of three different Pasukim from, from over Tanakh. What are they? The first Pasuk that it's quoting is uh, Hashem Melech Olam Va'ed. That Pasuk is from Tehilim, the 10th chapter of Tehilim, Tehli, talking about that Hashem Adonai reigns forever and ever. That's the first Pasuk. The next Pasuk that's being quoted is from, from another Pasuk in Tehilim, from the 96th chapter, Imru Vagoim Adonai Malach, that the, the proclaim among the nations that Hashem has reigned. And the last Pasuk that's being quoted is, is actually from the Torah, Adonai Moch Lamba'ed, we say it every day in Az Yashir, after the story of Az Yashir, all of Amir Sabin Esau proclaimed that Pasuk, that what? Hashem will reign forever and ever. And in the Kitsur, when we combine these three Pasukim and these three parts of Pasukim, what we're saying is that Hashem reigns, Hashem ha, meaning Hashem reigns currently, is currently in charge. He dictates every breath we take. He di- dictates every penny we make. He dictates every step that will happen. He had reigned in the past, meaning before we were around, Either, either before we were born or before this world was created, Hashem was here and Hashem was in charge of that tov avo we talk about at the beginning of the, of the creation. And Hashem imloch lulam va'ed. Hashem in the future will also be in charge and will also be the ruler and also be the king. And it's a very powerful, it's, it's similar to what we say with Shema, where and any, actually anytime we say Hashem's name, what's the kavanah? Anytime we say the, the name of Yud Kei Vav Kei, very good. The halakha explains that you have to have in, you have to have in mind when we say the word Yud K Vav K, we pronounce it as Adonai. The kavanah we have is that Hashem is our master, He's the master of the universe. He was, He is, and He will be the master of the universe. Meaning, before we ever existed, mankind, us, He was there and in charge. He is currently involved in the world and cares about us and dictates good from bad and helps us. And, and is time supervising what we do. And after 120 or after the next world to come, he will also be there and in, in charge of everything that goes on as well. And the, the part that comes after this is just different references from other Sukim and Tanakh that we talk about in the creation. He was there when he created the, 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 he created the luminaries. He, he was, Hashem was in charge as well. And just different aspects of of history that Hashem was also in charge of, that's the next part that we, we continue singing. Hashem el, Hashem el, Hashem el, Hashem el, but in fact, it's not one pasuk, it's a combination of three pasukim that are meant to teach us this idea that Hashem is the master of the universe, always, period. That's what it's saying, is Hashem, we can really take these few days to internalize what that means, Adonai imloch le'olam that He's the master and the king, always. Have a wonderful day.